Uh, what's the main difference between you as feeder bank and a traditional bank like ABN AMRO? Well, um, I, I wouldn't now uh, focus on ABN AMRO, but we are trying to be, first of all, a very customer-centric model. Um, uh, the whole feeder idea was born out of the Web 2.0 environment, so that is maybe one difference already. On the other side, we are very tech-driven, and I think this is the second largest differentiating making factor. Uh, technology to us means a lot. It's not only cost reduction, it's also creating unique selling propositions. It's creating a huge and great customer experience uh, and I think all in all this makes the difference. And how many customers do you already have? So we are operating as a bank in the UK and in Germany. We all in all have 120,000 customers, of which roughly 15 to 20,000 are could account into the SME business. Um, we have, uh, by the way, also a very strong growing uh, community of people talking about money and so on. Uh, this community is 330,000 people strong. So yeah, we have quite a reach in the meantime. What are your futures, uh, your goals for the future? So for the bank, we have the objective to really cover all Europe. It's a digital concept, and we think digital concepts should work cross-border. Uh, so, and we also think, furthermore, um, that there is a demand for better digital banking all over Europe on the one side. On the other side, we founded a tech company quite a while ago, and we are selling our feed operating system to bank partners. And this tech company, with its partners, clearly has a global approach. And do the traditional banks are going to vanish because of banks like you? No, absolutely not. And this is a very funny question. We had it the other day in New York, like, will banks be there in 10 years? And I can tell you, yes, I'm absolutely convinced banks will be there. And it makes a lot of sense. But I think we will have a shift in market share. And I think we will see that the ones who are adopting the development, which is currently taking place, will gain in market share, while the other ones who are ignoring it for whatever reason, good or bad, uh, will, uh, of course, have a decrease in market share, will be maybe more like a production bank in the back office and so on, but we'll lose clearly customer contact. So new players like you will emerge? Well, hopefully, hopefully more, and, and I would be happy if there would be more than just us, actually. Uh, but obviously people find it very difficult to be entrepreneur on the one side and a bank on the other. Uh, so let us think maybe in, in additional kind of conferences how to overcome that. Um, on the other side, I will, uh, we will all see that, of course, the traditional players will change and we see a lot of efforts and really good efforts into moving into digitalization, customer centricity, embracing that development. So there's a lot of things going on. It's really amazing.